to say, I, I, I've been saying this over and over again. I hate that it takes these types of games for this man to get any type of praise. He's 20 years old. He's not that much older than Wimby. He's like, he's like six months older than Wimby. Hold on, hold on. Let, let's make sure. Let's make sure. Jeremy, when is, when is Jeremy Sohan's birthday? Um, I know you guys think I'm obsessed with him, so I would know his birthday, but I actually don't. Uh, May 20th, 2003. And Wimby is what? Wimbanyama birthday. Is it in January? Yeah, Jan yeah, January 2000. Yeah, literally. He's only like six months old. He's not that much older than him. Wait, is my math right? May, January. Yeah, yeah it's close enough. Close enough. It, who cares? It's close enough. He's not that much older than Wimby. So it's just so frustrating. It is so infuriating. When people go so harsh, they're so harsh towards uh, Sohan. But geez, we, this guy can really play. And I'm not expect a month, eight months ish. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to say. I never once said this. I never said that Sohan is going to be a guy. Which he's he's capable of doing it. But I don't expect him of this. I don't expect Sohan to be a guy that gives us 20 plus points a night. I don't expect him to be the second uh, leader scorer behind. Uh, Wimby I think we still need more scoring power obviously but I do expect him to do what he did tonight not even on the scoring end but defensively I don't think people understand how ridiculous it is with the amount of effort the amount of hustle how every single play he is locked in he's been like this since his freshman year freshman year rookie year He's been like this since his rookie year, freshman year of college too. But this is just who he is. He's always locked in. Dude is a winner. Uh, he is he does he play pretty basketball? No. Is he gonna miss some shots? Is he gonna look ugly sometimes? Yeah. Is, is he gonna hit you with a with a sham god? Probably not. But you know what? He's gonna do the dirty work. He's gonna do the dirty work that's going to equate to wins in the future. Dude had 18 rebounds tonight. He out hustled everyone on our team. He out, -hustled, he out hustled everyone on the Spurs and the Suns. He was ridiculous. This is the type of guy he is. And I'm not expecting him, like I said, I'm not expecting him to shoot uh, and hit you know, 20 plus points per game, okay? All I expect him to do is to do the dirty work as he always does and just hit the shots when we absolutely need them. And what did he do? One for seven from three. He had one three. Oh, that's trash, clan. It was the game winner. This is who he is. He's been like this. He's been him. I hate this. I hate this. You praise him early on. I was praising him for a very long time. Obviously, I have somewhat of a bias because I wanted him to come to San Antonio before we even picked him up. But with that being said, I've been praising him this whole time, not for no reason. He's that good. And it's just frustrating that people constantly just get on to him because, oh, he has some bad shooting performances. He's, he never was a shooter. He never was a scorer. Why do you expect that of him? Well, not everybody on the team is, is going to be like Tim Duncan, okay? Not everybody on the team is going to be able to score like that. I, I say this over and over again, but if Boris Diaw was on this team... Right now, this team this year, no one would bat eye. No one would think that he's that good. Everyone would just be like, yeah, he's 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 okay. Because I guarantee you, uh, uh, Dial on this team would not look uh, as good as he did with the 2014 team. And the reason being is because he amplifies other people's talents. Sohan is a complimentary piece. Offensively, he is more so a complimentary piece. He needs other guys to be talented <laughs> so he can amplify their talents he's a connector he's a glue guy that's what he is boris will be diamond up wimby yeah, well i guess that's true yeah, people will say boris is like the new coming of magic johnson because he can lob the ball to wimby that's probably true that is probably true um but it's just so frustrating man oh gosh but yeah sohan is him uh for sale I'm, I'm glad that he was aggressive I, part of me was a little afraid going into this game because I was like, is he going to actually be aggressive? Because we need him to be aggressive in this game. 
We we need you to, you know, shoot 19, 20 times. But he was. It was. Um I I'm I don't have much commentary on this game, honestly, other than I'm very impressed. Cause this game really came down to effort. Uh sons are infinitely more talented than we are. Like I, I don't even think it's it's close, right? Like I think they're much more talented uh than we are. I mean with Kevin Durant, uh, Bradley Bill and, and, and Booker alone, that, that's more talent than I think the Spurs have, at least on the offensive end, um, even though Bradley Bill didn't play that well. So they, they do have more talent. And even Nurkic, um, you know, he got hurt. But during this game, he was he was on pace to really put on a show. Uh, so, But Nurkic did a pretty good job. So they do have quite a bit of talent. It all came down to effort. Uh, I felt like from the beginning of the game, the Suns weren't putting, weren't putting forth uh the adequate amount of effort i think they felt like they could just beat us at any given time and they weren't really worried about it um but yeah the spurs punched them in the mouth and by the time the suns were ready to come back uh yeah they got some leads you know i think maybe we switched leads three or four times in that fourth quarter it was kind of ridiculous uh but I, I always felt like the spurs had it under control from our effort alone uh the suns they they just i don't know they they this is not a championship team I'm sorry. This is not a championship team. Uh, they they should not have they should not have lost to us tonight. It was the same thing earlier in the season. Like we just put forth so much effort, and then we came back and beat them, and then we just whooped on them the game after that. Like I don't know. The Suns really got an issue when it comes to effort. Uh, but man, oh man, Popovich has these boys playing. This is what I always keep saying, man. Everyone keeps saying Popovich. Well, not everyone. Okay, most people know that this is silly, but a big a big chunk of the fan base says fire Popovich. He's not doing his job. He's holding this player back. He's holding that player back. I guarantee you, this amount of effort that you're getting from this group would not be possible without a coach like Popovich. I'm not going to sit here and say Popovich is the only coach on the planet that can motivate guys and get them to play uh, to 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 this degree. Uh, but I will say. I will say, uh, Pop Popovich is him. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, Popovich is him. He's him. I don't know. I mean, I it it's like um, it kind of reminds me of that uh, that Family Guy skit. You guys remember the Family Guy skit where oh, I can't remember. It's it's like it's Lois and and Peter and and there's a box and Peter says something like, you know, um, oh gosh, how does it go? Pop is him. He is him. Gosh, how does that how does that joke go? He's like, it could be anything, Lois. It could even be ah, what is it? Is it a boat or what is that joke? Hold on. It reminds me of this joke. Let's see. I'm gonna find this joke. Isn't it like something about a boat? Hold on. Hold on. If we speed it up, you think we'll get copyrighted? Let's see. Maybe we won't get copyrighted if it's, if it's sped up. The bird is the word? No, not the bird is the word. It's this. Um, you have a choice. You can have the boat or the mystery box. That's right. So you can have the boat or the mystery box. And Lois is like, that's stupid. We'll just take the boat. And then Peter says, well, Lois, it could be anything. It, 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 it can even be a boat. Like, that's, that's, the, that's the joke. I don't know. I butchered that joke. But you get it. That, that's how I feel when people say get rid of Popovich. It's like, oh, well, we can get a really great coach. We just got to get rid of Popovich. And we already have Popovich right there. Why are we even risking it? Like, like, we have a phenomenal coach. We have a Hall of Fame coach right there, sitting right here that's helping us. I don't get it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, all right? Boat's a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. You know how much we've wanted one of those. And let's just... I'll take the box. That's the joke. There you go. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. You going to Memphis' game at April 9th, clan? Uh, no. I'm not. Serious question. Does Wimby turnovers make the Spurs worse? This is the second win without him, and I must say we look better without him then with him not trying to say he isn't great just clean don't think don't think too hard about it 
the the only reason why it it appears that it, look watching this game it was a layup line for a big chunk of it okay the suns could just get in the paint at will the the reason why we look better is we mainly because the spurs have to play better like they have to um uh, pass the ball a little bit more when Wimby isn't on the court um but overall you're much better with Wimby it's just a matter of um the fact that he's a rookie and we're basically playing through him so a lot of his mistakes are going to be pretty obvious because you're playing through him like imagine any of these players that played tonight if you were just playing through them like like Zach Collins I think all of us would say that he had a pretty decent game um, but if you were just playing through Zach Collins, everyone would say he had a trash game, even if his numbers were close to the same. I just think that overall, um, it's just the fact that you're playing through Wimby. So the eye test tells you like, oh, this doesn't look that great. But he's also a rookie and he's going to make mistakes. But you're definitely better. You're infinitely better on the defensive end. I mean, that's statistically proven right then and there. Um, I think the Spurs over the last 15 games, which now it would have been 17, 18 games, but last 15 games they are number one in defense in the nba um and then they're like 24 through 26 or something like that when he's off the court so you're definitely better with wimby yes yeah, don't don't overthink it like we we run into this trap all the time where it's like your star player is out but the team looks better therefore the team is better without them it's like no not necessarily right not necessarily and it, and don't don't get like two weeks like i'm happy about this win but don't get too excited the suns literally did not play like they i feel like they they were like wimby's not playing like you know we can just call this one in they did not put forth the right the adequate amount of effort uh to compete and the spurs did yeah yeah, you're right. Uh, hold on, I forgot to bring that up. Hold on. Yep, here it is. Jeremy Sohan, 26 points, 18 rebounds, zero turnovers. Youngest player in NBA history to reach those numbers in a game. Youngest player ever to have 26 points, 18 rebounds with zero turnovers. Turnovers, sorry. There you go. W Sohan. Sohan with the dagger. So nasty. But like I said, though, like I said, he's a really good player. I really hate the fact that he gets so much hate. I mean, obviously, some of it is put upon himself, like his personality wise. He kind of asks for it at times. But I, I, it's one thing to get it from people outside of the fan base i get a little bit more frustrated when it's people within the fan base that's always getting on to sohan and he's in his sophomore year like it's not that serious dude is literally in his sophomore year what do you what, like whatever exactly he hit it when it matters that's all that i asked from sohan i'm not asking guys my expectations are just different i think from some people because i don't expect him to be this 30 point per game score or 20 something point per game score i i could care less i see sohan more so as a connector does the dirty work plays phenomenal defense and hit the shots when we need you that's all i need that's all i need i i don't i don't i don't care about anything else and he did that he did that plus more um so yeah, I, I I don't think people really realize how incredible it is, or, or maybe it's one of those situations that you know with Wimby you kind of become numb to it, and I don't know if it's the same thing with Sohan that people aren't impressed because either I don't know if they're not paying attention or they're just numb to it because it's a daily occurrence now. Uh, but the amount of the 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 great defense that he plays on the opposing team is really impressive the fact that he can put forth that much effort on the defensive end and still capable of doing what he does on the offensive end it's not one game that i've seen of sohan and i i've watched i might have missed like four or five games i think over the past two seasons um but there's not one game that i've seen of sohan where i felt like he wasn't locked in were there games where he made mistakes yeah 
but there was none in which I saw him on the defensive end. I said, Sohan just isn't bringing it tonight. Not one. He's always there. He's always engaged. And I hate that, you know, he doesn't get enough praise for that. That's impressive. Exactly. Sohan is a piece to a championship. Uh, every team needs a Sohan, honestly. Yeah. When we put everyone under a microscope. I, I guess, man, but it, it's like, dang, Sohan was just getting praised the season before, the season prior. Like, that steal on KD handoff was clean. That was clean. But what was the most impressive play from Sohan to me, not just the three-point shot at the end, but the most impressive was the contest, the KD contest at the end. Because that is an easy shot for KD if anyone else is guarding him. He was right there with the ball. You couldn't have contested it better. That was his best contest of the entire night. Now, sure enough, I mean, it's not like, you know, KD and, and Booker had, you know, bad games by any stretch of the imagination. Like you can say KD went 12 for 17, Booker went 14 for 28, but you got to kind of contextualize everything. The fact that he, a lot of these plays in which Devin, or not, not Devin, I'm sorry, uh, Sohan was on Durant, he did pass it up. When he was on Booker, uh, he made it tougher for him, and he had to pass it up. Uh, he he just really reined things in. Kevin Durant could have I easily, I think, on a you know playing another team, could have easily put up uh, 35, 40 points. And Booker, for a big chunk of this, was guarded by uh, Julian Champagny, at least in the first half. So he had one. Yeah, he had a great night. Great night. Well, Sohan is 27% last year. He would get there. He had a great game. Um, and I didn't even mention Fasel that much, but Fasel did fine too. Fasel did did really well. I mean, him and Sohan were kind of beating up on the on the Suns in that fourth quarter. We just need more talent, and we'll be all right. Just get some more talent. I honestly, I've said this over and over again. I honestly would prefer the Spurs just go after uh, high IQ players at this point uh, i love modest buzelis for that reason because i think he is a good defender he has a lot of upside offensively and he does a really great job of getting to his spots but most importantly he has high basketball iq on both ends of the court he has very high basketball iq and i think that he would gel really well with wimby um but you know when, when we get there we'll get there we'll go over other draft picks and all that good stuff but um i really think that's the most important thing that the spurs can kind of grab you know, just guys that not only positions that you need, archetypes that you need, but the, I really want the guys to have high basketball IQ. Can someone explain why Champagne is a starter? Uh, he kind of don't have anybody else. You know, like Champagne, you you have to respect his three point shot. So not many teams like leave him open. Like when he does take three point shots, they're usually contested. So. Uh, he stretches the floor in that in that way. And then defensively, he's adequate, right? He's basically adequate defensively. But at that point, you know, you could look at the guys coming off the bench and none of them are adequate. Blake Wesley is. Like, Blake Wesley is a decent defender. Uh, but other than that, I, there's no one else you really put into that place. Maybe you can make an argument for... No, actually, you can't. I was going to say make an argument for Malachi. Malachi did fine when he started... Um, but it, it, at that small four position, I don't, I don't want to even risk that. Um, I mean, I, I, that's why I think Julian Champagne is starting because, you know, he has decent size on him, uh, stretches the floor, adequate defender. You know, that that's all you really need right now. I mean, that's the best that we can do right now. Um, Keldon kind of needs to be more so a spark plug off that bench. Uh, Malachi Brand, I'm mean, not Malachi Brand. I'm sorry. Uh, Blake Wesley, you know, he needs to be the point guard off the bench behind Trey Jones. So it's just the best you got. He's not a starter, though. He's not a starter. Like next season, he shouldn't be starting. Like he's not a starting small forward. And I also think fans are going to like Julian Champagne much more, especially if he's still with the Spurs, but much more um, if he's coming off the bench. He'll look better. He'll look much better if he's coming off the bench. It's just him going against this these like star caliber players every night makes him look worse than what he is. <laughs> Ch 
Champion, he stretched the floor for like three points a game. It's it, it, all I know is if, when I'm watching the games, they don't leave Julian Champagne open. That's all I know. That's that's all I can tell you. As far as how well he's playing offensively, like how many he, I don't, I can't, I can't attest to all that. But I can say that they do not, uh, they do not leave him open. Julian is the new Danny Green. Danny Green was a better defender than Julian Champagne. <laughs> And and uh, Danny Green at one stretch, oh my goodness, you really couldn't leave him open. Oh my goodness. I think Malachi is the worst entry passer. Malachi had a really poor game tonight. Um, I know it was only seven minutes, but man, it was it was a tough seven minutes. Oh, it was a tough seven, seven minutes. On both ends of the court, it was tough to watch. So there's that. Barlow needs to learn to utilize his size against Smalls. Still a good game for him. Uh, yeah, he does, but I think for the most part, he does pretty well with utilizing his size, you know? 2013-2014, Green was scary sight unguarded. Ooh, I was thinking 2012-2013, Danny. He hit a record until freaking Steph took it. Wimby just had eight minutes for the Suns tonight. What does that mean? I wish they'd give City Sissoko a chance at small for it. I think, I think, um, man, the more I watch Sohan, Jeremy Sohan, I would not be surprised if he could come off the bench. I mean, in, in college, he did this. He played six man in college. Like, what if, you know, obviously our bench is going to look so different next year. But what if we could have him come off the bench and lead that bench unit because he is so nasty you know he would come in you know you would stack minutes and stuff he would play with Wimby um, but just have him as a six man initially you end the game off with definitely them playing um, but you know have City Sissoko start I think that would be pretty nasty honestly because City Sissoko is a better passer than Sohan but Sohan is a better I would say just about everything else than City Sissoko. But City Sissoko is also a good defender. So, I don't know. I, I feel like that would be pretty nasty. That would be a lot to deal with. Sohan coming off the bench seems like a lot to deal with. I can't see Sohan leading the bench, to be honest, unless Trey coming off the bench with him. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's not like, I'm, I'm just saying Sohan plays six man in college. So, I mean, I don't think he would have a problem with it. But me saying City Sissoko start is just how much faith I have in City Sissoko, even though Sohan, I think is an overall better player. Sohan called Nurkic a, a D head. Did he really? That's funny. Where was this team Saturday when Wimby was playing? I have I have no idea. Yep. Sohan and Devin killed it. And uh Sohan hit the game winner. To be frank, Wimby tendencies and turnovers don't help wins on this game. In this game, everyone was focused to not lose the ball. I mean, that's that's true. But Wimby was, I mean, Wimby's so good to the point where um, he make up for it, you know, in other ways. Also, let's uh, don't don't forget that that Wimby beat the Suns twice already. Okay, so like, don't forget that Wimby did beat the Suns twice. So it's it's not like. It's not like he hasn't beat the Suns. He, he beat the Suns twice. One of which was a comeback. And the second one, he just... <laughs> he just beat up on them. So, the Suns are a good matchup for the Spurs. Good stuff. 